Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from June 2013 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question is, for a homogeneous Fred Home integral equation, this is the given homogeneous equation, the eigenvalue lambda and the corresponding eigenfunction y of x involving arbitrary constants a and b are which of these four, right? So they are asking, calculate the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenfunctions for the given integral equation. So let us get started. So now observe that the kernel here is uh, separable because you can uh, expand this sign x plus zeta as sin x cos zeta plus cos x sin zeta, right? And um, so therefore this kernel is of something like this summation a i x and b i zeta where what is a 1 x that is sin x a 2 x is cos x b 1 zeta is cos zeta and b 2 zeta is sin zeta right so now if we have a, a kernel like this which is known as separable kernel right in that case the system is reduced to a linear system this uh, i minus lambda a into c is equal to f and f in this case is 0 so the system is eventually 0 right and i is the identity operator lambda is the eigenvalue which we need to determine and a is some matrix whose entries are calculated using this expression so a i k is basically integration from 0 to pi b i zeta a k zeta d zeta and here f i are f i's are 0 and the determinant and this uh, matrix c it can say it contains some constants which we need to determine and uh, this uh, determinant i minus lambda a is d lambda where this is some polynomial in lambda now depending on the value of this d lambda uh, we have unique or infinitely many solutions. If this is non-zero, then we have unique solution. And because this is this, uh, the system is homogeneous, th therefore the only solution that is the trivial solution, y x is equal to zero. For non-trivial solution or the non-zero solution, d lambda has to be zero. So uh, when this polynomial d lambda is zero, we'll have certain lambdas those lambdas are known as eigenvalues and the solutions corresponding to those lambdas they are known as the eigenfunctions this was the theory uh, so let us cal uh, calculate this d lambda and let us equate this equal to zero to calculate what are the corresponding eigenvalues and then the corresponding eigenfunctions right so d lambda in our case would be i minus lambda into a i minus lambda a11, a12, a21, 22, where these are calculated using this expression a i k. So a11 would be integration from 0 to pi, b1 zeta, a1 zeta, d zeta, where these are the values, right? So you can perform the integration. So a11 comes out to be 0, a12 comes out to be pi by 2, a12 is basically integration from 0 to pi, b1 zeta, a2 zeta, d zeta, so it would be cos square zeta because b1 is cos and a2 is again cos and we'll uh, use the same variable zeta and we'll take the integration with respect to zeta. So now we can convert this into double angles like this and we can perform integration and put the limits. So we have pi by 2. Similarly a21 is also pi by 2 and a22 is equal to 0 I guess. It is equal to 0, yes. So, uh, when you substitute all these values back into this determinant d lambda, let us let us see what do we have. So, we obtain d lambda is equal to the determinant of 1 minus lambda into 0, minus lambda into pi by 2, minus lambda into pi by 2, 1 minus lambda into 0. So, if you take the determinant, it is equal to 0 and we need that values of lambda for which d lambda is equal to 0. So, we substitute this d lambda equal to 0 from here, we get this. So, that means these are the eigenvalues plus minus 2 upon pi 
these are the two eigen values of the corresponding uh, integral equation as well as the linear system that we have uh, obtained so to calculate the eigen functions let us uh, use these values one by one when lambda is equal to 2 upon pi then this system here in place of lambda we'll have substitute 2 upon pi so it would it would be 1 minus 0 that would be 1 and it would be when you substitute 2 upon pi all thing cancels it would be minus 1 here also minus 1 here also 1 c1 c2 these are the two unknown constants which we have to determine and uh, once we determine those the solution would then become something like this yx is equal to lambda into summation aix into ci so c's are 2 here so let us calculate them so uh, the system becomes this, this so it gives us two equations c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 or it gives minus c1 plus c2 is equal to 0 when you solve any one of these you will get the same thing so here c1 becomes equal to c2 right so we uh, we can replace one constant so yx eventually becomes lambda into c1 times a1x a1x was sin x and c2 into cos a, uh, a2x a2x was cos x and because c1 and c2 are equal we can replace the c2 by c1 so ultimately it would be c1 times lambda and lambda here is 2 upon pi into sin x plus cos x so in the question they are saying uh, if lambda is equal to 2 by pi that is the eigenvalue then the eigenfunction would be some constant this is some constant let, a, let us call it as a a into sin x plus cos x so let us look at our option 2 upon pi and sin x plus cos x 2 upon pi sin x plus cos x into something so this is the correct option right let us uh, look at the second eigenvalue let us apply the same procedure to calculate the eigen functions so when lambda is equal to minus 2 upon pi in that case the system becomes 1 1 1 and 1 so we will substitute lambda is equal to minus 2 upon pi into this system over here so it would give us 1 and here it would be 1 1 and 1 again so 1 1 1 1 into c1 c, c2 is equal to 0 0 from here you see c2 is equal to minus c1 so when uh, this uh, our y x was lambda into c1 sin x plus c2 cos x so we could write this as minus 2 upon pi c1 uh, we can replace this c2 by minus c1 and we'll op obtain this right so now it would be something some constant this is some constant arbitrary constant uh, into sin x minus cos x so the eigenvalue uh, uh, eigenfunction corresponding to the eigenvalue minus 2 upon pi it would be equal to b into some constant let me call it as b b into sin x minus cos x so let us look at our options so option uh, for lambda is equal to minus 2 upon pi y x is equal to this so option c is also the correct option so the only correct options are c and d that is it for this video thank you for watching